Good evening, everybody. Welcome to your Tuesday evening Facebook Live. My name is Sarah Edwards. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator, and I come to you guys live every Tuesday and Thursday, usually at 7, to show you a fun new project. But last week and this week, Stampin' Up! is doing an Instagram um, kind of challenge or kind of show you how to use Instagram. So I am doing that at 7, so that's why I pushed back my Facebook Live till 6, so I could do the training with them. So as you can see, I am in a tank top. Um, it was an absolutely gorgeous day here in Arizona, but I probably would have still been in my long sleeves to do the live, uh, but tell you a little bit of background. I got up at 3 a.m. to be at work by four, and I got home at a little before one, and I thought, if I sit down on the couch, I literally am going to be done for the rest of the day. So I cleaned my house, cleaned the bathrooms, I rearranged my living room, put all of Lucas's toys back in his bedroom. My house has kind of been a bit of a disaster since Christmas and the retreat. I've been working way too much and I mean, not way too much, but I've been working a lot. So I haven't had a whole lot of time to get things organized and done. So I cranked through all of that today and I was in a long sleeve shirt. And by the time I got halfway through, I was like, I got to get these clothes off. So that is why I'm in a tank top, but it is still a little chilly in the evenings. But anyway, I didn't have time to put another shirt on before I came out to do the live. Bo made an amazing dinner, but it took a little bit longer on the grill than he was anticipating. So I literally just got out here about five minutes ago. We just finished dinner. So welcome. Hopefully your day hasn't been as crazy as mine, but let's get some crafting done. I know many of you guys might not be able to watch the live because I've had to move the times a little bit, but you can definitely watch the replay because this is a super cute card. Good evening, Darlene. Welcome. I'm going to flip you guys over and make sure we are live. We are on my fa on, uh, Facebook. So this is the set I'm going to play with. Um, I actually met one of my girlfriends Monday for breakfast with our grandkids, and I showed her this picture, and she was like, oh my goodness, what catalog is that in? And it's actually in the annual catalog. So it is called Time Together, and I was trying to search it, and I was doing Hourglass and everything else besides Time Together. Um, but that's the name of this set, and it is in the annual catalog. It does come as a bundle, but I really thought it would be perfect for Valentine's Day. This is one of the sets we are using in the Saturday's card class. Um, it, the sentiments in here are not Valentine's Day. You have the birthday, I love you till the end of time. I miss you every minute of every hour, which is super cute considering there's an hourglass there. Um, it didn't have a Valentine's Day set. It does have the XOXO in it, but I really wanted a happy Valentine's Day. So this is the happy Valentine's Day set out of this month's paper pumpkin kit. I did have to cut it apart and kind of finagle the letters. So it was kind of a little loop-de-doo. Um, but other than that, I am just using these this set. Oh, let me show you the dies. So the dies we're going to be using, we're going to use this banner, we're going to use this flower, the outer part of the hourglass, and then the hourglass die itself. I've already pre-cut all of these so we don't have to use the embossing machine, but I just wanted to show you guys which set we're going to, which dies we're going to be using. I am pairing it with this absolutely gorgeous designer series paper that's available for celebration. I don't have much of this paper left. Um, we are using this in card class on Saturday as well. Look at those phenomenal hearts. And the other side is like the gold foils. So pretty. I do have lots of this design because this is the paper that I didn't use for our card class. So I was like, hmm. Why don't I just use it for the Facebook Live? And you could really use either side of this paper to make this card. So there's the paper, there's the stamp set. Let's show you guys the card. So it's very simple, very elegant, and very cute. I am gonna change up the colors a little bit on the two inside stamps. Possibly. Well, we are. We're going to change it up for the first one, and then maybe the second one I'll make identical to this. But it's so fun, so different, and I'm excited to show you guys. 
So let's bring in the stuff that you're going to need. We have a piece of our basic white, our thick basic white. It is eight and a half by five and a half, and I scored it right in half at four and a quarter. So you can take this and give it a good crease. And we're going to set that aside. And I'm going to bring in all of my little pieces. So this piece is Flirty Flamingo. It's four by five and a quarter. And I did cut the outside of the hourglass out of the center of this. Just not to save paper, um, you're just not gonna see it. Here is our designer series paper. And this is three and three fourths by five. And I already die cut and stamped the hourglass, our banner, and our little flowers. So really all we have to do is assemble this card. So first, let's start with the hourglass. Let me bring in my original one so you guys can see it. So I used Flirty Flamingo and Granny Apple Green. I did the Granny Apple Green for the sentiment just to pull in a little bit of the green from the flowers. And I think this time I want to do the hearts in the Granny Apple Green as well. We're going to see. You know what? You don't know until you try. So I'm going to ink up the hearts and I'm going to come in. I want to stand on my tippy toes because I want to try to get this as close to the crease as I can. Well, that wasn't super tragic. I wanted to try to get it as close to the inside of this piece as I could. And then here is the bottom piece. Well, it was upside down. So I'm going to come in and I'm going to stamp this at the bottom. And then you have this little line. So the little line is what's going to connect both your pieces. So this is a super simple design and card. And I am going to be focusing on this for Thursday's Live as well. So I'm going to take the light granny apple green and I want to just color the edges or the inside of the leaves. And I'm going to do this on both of them. So just gently color. You don't have to worry about um, going in between the other little leaves that are on here because they are stamped in memento. So you're, it's not going to color. So color the inside, we're almost done. There we go. And if we have enough time, I do have two other ones, um, but I've already colored them. So you don't have to sit and watch me color all of them. So now I have the light flirty flamingo and I'm just gonna color the leaves or the flower itself, they're not leaves. So it doesn't take long to color. There's that one. And then we're gonna do this one. I actually just had to get a new Flirty Flamingo blender pens because my other ones dried out. Well, I think I used them too much. I think that's my problem. So we're almost finished. There we go. Hello, Martine. Welcome. Thank you. It's a super easy card to put together. And it really didn't take me long to die cut all of these pieces either. I knew I was going to try to make four for the Facebook Live. Well, I made, I prepped for four. I made one as my sample. And then if we have enough time, I'll put all three of them together. And if you do things in an assembly line, it literally goes super fast. So I cut all the cardstock and then I ran everything through the embossing machine. And yeah, it went super quick. <laughs> Darlene, you are not the worst at coloring. <laughs> I have not given Lucas my markers. He has some crayons here, but that's about it. And I forgot the outer pieces for the uh, hourglass. 
They're sitting right on my table. These are the outer, these are the outer pieces that I cut. So what I'm going to do is I am going to take my little hourglass and I just want to put a little smidgen of adhesive at the top and the bottom. You don't need a whole lot. And I'm going to flip this over, make sure this is the right side is down and I'm just going to line this up. I did it the opposite way to create the original card and I felt it was just easier once I did it the other way to show you guys, this is probably the easiest way to do it. So now I'm gonna come in with some dimensionals and yes, it's overkill on the dimensionals. I know it is, but it's your card and if you wanna put a million dimensionals on one piece, you are allowed. So I'm gonna come in and just put some minis up at the corner. I don't want anything sagging. And I'm gonna put one on each of these guys. So yes, my upline Heather would probably be having a heart attack right now. <laughs> I say that just because of her. I don't know if she watches them all all the time. She might watch the replays, but hopefully she gets my little end windows that I say about her. It's all in love, it's all good. Okay, so this is gonna get glued down just like that. And then I'm gonna come in with these guys and I'm just gonna put two in each, one in each of the corners. So I'm trying to go as close to the bottom of the leaf as I can. And I'll show you why in a second. Sorry, I have to get a tissue. My eyes are watering for some reason. Okay. So I'm gonna pick these up and I'm gonna come up here and I wanna tuck this in as far as I can down until I hit those dimensionals. Well, let me get this out of the way. I think it's easier to go like this. There we go. So it's sitting right at the edge. There we go. Now all we have left to do is our sentiment. And I think I'm still gonna use green and apple green. I actually think I like the contrast of the coloring a little bit better. So I'm gonna ink this up. And the only bad part is you have to make sure you're getting your banner going the right direction. It, it is directional specific. You see how my stamp is on here? So you have to make sure you're in the right area. And I need to pull it over to the side a little bit so I can make sure I get this stamped. There we go. And flip this over and I'm going to put two mini dimensionals, one on each end, kind of the same way that I did the flowers. I just want this kind of overlapping. There we go. You could definitely add some rhinestones to it if you want. I don't think I have any up here, otherwise I would, and I don't, I usually do. But yeah, which one do you guys like better, the Granny Apple Green or the Flirty Flamingo? I have two more, so if we have enough time, we can do those, and we can actually just do them at the same time. And let's do one each again. So since I already used the Granny Apple Green, I will start with the Granny Apple Green. I'm gonna clean this off so I can use the other color. We have our hearts. Come in and stamp that, perfect. We need the inside piece. I can, honestly say maybe it was before my time but I have never seen an hourglass stamp from Stampin' Up. Maybe years and years ago but not in my time do I recall one of these. Okay there's that one and then let's close it up and bring in the flirty flamingo. Let's flip this over. Okay. 
stamp the heart. And then we're gonna come in and do the bottom. Kind of looks like icing, I think. Like a cupcake, the frosting on top of a cupcake. It's kind of what it reminds me of. There we go. And I shouldn't have closed the granny apple green because I do want the sentiment on both granny apple green. So make sure this is the right direction and it is. And this one does not fit perfectly in this banner. And I totally know that. I cut the Happy Valentine's Day from the Paper Pumpkin Kit. Uh, but there are lots of sentiments in the stamp set that, that goes with this. But I wanted some Happy Valentine's Day ones. But on Thursday, I will probably use some of the sentiments that are in the set because I have another really cute card using this set. And you still have time to RSVP for card class. That's on Saturday. And this is not one of the cards you're going to be making, but this is this one of the sets we'll be using. You are making a completely different card, but the same kind of concept and idea. Just putting some adhesive on here. There we go. Put our designer series paper down. Perfect. And the last one. Okay, so let's push those aside and bring these in. And again, I wanna make sure these are upside down. So when I glue these guys down, I'm gonna have the right side showing. And I don't think you can see how much glue I put on there, but I barely put any. I'm just tacking this down so I can pick it up easier and not have to um, depend on the dimensionals if I don't get the dimensionals in the right spots. But you could really make these in any color. Okay, let's do, this is probably the most time consuming part of this card is putting the dimensionals on. And I would say let's not put all of them on but God forbid my card fall apart. I would be so sad. It would definitely not be fun if somebody said, I'm not quite sure what your card was supposed to look like. And I'm just, I'll use the edges of that later. I will just open a new pack until I want to use the other ones. There we go. Let's flip these over and grab some minis. My minis are usually on a full sheet, but I needed to cut them in half. Even I needed to cut them even smaller. So that's why I only have a smidgen of that left. But when you get them, you'll have a full pack of them. A full sheets. So I'm peeling all the minis off first just because I get them all underneath my fingernail and then I can throw them away. I'll show you as soon as I'm done. And if I stop and get a big one in there, see they're all up underneath my fingernail, so now I can just pitch them. And if I stop and get a big one, then they all fall and then I get irritated. And that's what I do with the big ones too. I just pick them all up underneath my fingernail. Some people can use the take your pick tool and I tried it, I swear I have, and I just cannot master that. It's a cool idea and I think they do a phenomenal job, but my brain does not function like that. And other people are like, how do you get them all underneath your fingernail? I'm like, no clue. 
There we go. Let's put our happy Valentine's Day. And I think it looks gorgeous just like this. So you technically wouldn't even have to put the flowers on, but I think the flowers give it a little extra pizzazz. So you can leave it like this if you want to, or color your little flowers. Take all these off. I swear we're almost done. This is the most time to consuming part. Okay. So which one do you guys like better? Do you like the granny apple green hearts or do you like the flirty flamingo? I think they're both gorgeous. So I don't know which one is my favorite. I think maybe the granny apple green, if I'm being honest. But I would not stick my nose up at it if somebody sent me the flirty flamingo either. So there you go. There are your cards for this evening. I hope you'd enjoyed it as much as I did. Hopefully I don't go too fast. But if I do, you can always rewatch um, the video. It is on YouTube and on Facebook. So you can always rewatch re it if you would need me to go a little bit slower. Hello, Linda. And darling, yours is Florida Flamingo. It is gorgeous. Like, I cannot, I don't know. I can't tell which one I like best. But they're so fun. And you can even do them in your favorite color. And gorgeous grape, darling, I know is yours. So if you have this set, make some in Gorgeous Grape and let me know what they look like. Okay, I will be back Thursday at 6 for another live, and I am going to focus on this set for another card. So I will see everybody Thursday, and if you need anything, please feel free to reach out. We'll chat with you soon. Bye-bye.